located between Hadley Road North and South Thames. Located in the suburbs, it is a popular spotting location. On the weekday, it sees three trains per hour and also marks the end of the travel car zones. What is Bar Tunnel? The longest tunnel on the whole East Coast Main Line from King's Cross to Edinburgh, being 1,214 yards long. Potters Bar Station is known to some people by the major railway accident in 2002, when the northbound express passed over these exact points. The rear set of wheels travelled onto the other line as the points failed, thus the coach derailed and ended up sliding along the platform, causing some major damage. The first accident was in 1946, when a local passenger train crashed into the buffers and the derailed cars ended up on the main line. Then two express trains came along and crashed into the carriages. Surprisingly, only two people died, but not as much as the second accident, which killed around seven people. Brookman's Park, another local station for local people. It is also the location of the Brookman's Park transmitter station, built for medium wave broadcasting for London and South East. The railway station opened in 1926, and it is also worth pointing out that we are running in the county of Hertfordshire, yet only 15 miles north of King's Cross. Willow Green opened in 1986 and was built with funding from three local councils at Bridges Rail. The platforms are located on the slow lines only. Hatfield is another location on the ECML that had a major rail accident. On 17th October 2000, a June ER service from Leeds to King's Cross 225 train derailed south of the station, in which four people died, and around 70 injured. Hatfield Station was a junction for the Dunstable Town and St Albans Abbey branches, both closed in the beaching acts. We are now about to pass under the Wellin flyover, which carries the track from platform 6 onto the Yup Slow Line. The line is mainly used by Moorgate to Wellin services, so that the EMUs can cross over to the Yup Slow to return to Moorgate without causing disruption. And as if on cue, a first couple of connects class 313 crosses the bridge. Willing Garden City is yet another location on the ECML that had a rail accident. On 15th of June 1935, a rear collision occurred when a Newcastle and Leeds train was accepted into the same signal block, and the Newcastle train was travelling slower, so the Leeds train hit the rear at around 65 miles an hour. The accident was caused by a confused signalman who was not long appointed to the signal box. On the left is Welling carriage sidings, 
and you boost to Sable Class Season 3 overnight, ready for the first southbound trains to London. This saves the need for an empty stock move from Hornsey or Letchworth. Spare EMUs can also be stabled here. Wellin North is located in the village of Dixwell, but also serves the village of Wellin, which is around a mile or so away from Wellin Garden City. Just after the station is Wellin South Tunnel, followed by the second longest tunnel on the ECML, Wellin North Tunnel, with a distance of 1,046 yards. Two-track formation since Welling Garden City is now forming back to four tracks again as the slow lines diverge from the first lines here at Warmer Green Junction. Nebworth Station serves the village of Nebworth. The original village, located about a mile away, is now known as Old Nebworth. The station is served by Cambridge and Peterborough services. The train now roaming at Platform 3 is the 1119 National Express East Coast Service to Newcastle, calling out Peterborough, Grantham, Doncaster, York, Donington, Durham, and Newcastle. Stevenage, the first calling point for any National Express East Coast service, although some Scottish bound services pass here. First Capital Connect operate services here to Peterborough, Cambridge, Letchworth, King's Cross and Moorgate via Wellin and Hartford North. The original station opened in 1850 by the Great Northern Railway. In 1973 the station was relocated half mile south to its present location, opened by British Rail. RHST now continues on to Newcastle. <laughs> 